Oh, hi guys, uh, Cockney Cruiser here. Just a quick little video of a trip to Oakham. It's going to be two videos to this. So it's quite a long ride out up there. Uh, the first part, this is part one, will take us to Uppingham. Now we're just doing a little trip out of the village. It's a lovely little village. In fact, North Abdenshire has beautiful villages and there's a lot of history around here. This particular village, Stanion, dates back to uh, the 1400s. What a great place this is, it really is. And there's no shops in this village, which is nice, so we don't get any external traffic as such, only visitors to, um, to the residents here, that's it. Good idea to do it while you're riding, especially if there is a lot of traffic about. Fortunately, the roads around here are reasonably quiet out of rush hour. That was the Euro Hub roundabout on the A43, and there we go. Of tarmac 
iron it out and leave it and that's it this is that nice little shopping centre and there's a Kawasaki dealers here they sell some nice bikes and there are some nice shops around here just on the left here and as there's uh, petrol in fact the garage here is probably the cheapest you can buy petrol around our way anyway and this takes us back into the old land that used to belong to British Steel Now, 
Once we come off this roundabout, back down this hill, on the right is the Land Rover Experience, this building on the right. And there you can uh, hire a Land Rover for the day and go and explore the wonderful lands around Northamptonshire and Rollins. And for that matter, Leicestershire. working or not. As I know a lot of the speed traps in Northamptonshire are not working anymore. And I have that on good advice from a, a friend I know. Here's Rockin Castle on the left. Rockingham Castle was built over 900 years ago by William the Conqueror. This is, uh, here we go, Rockingham Village. Nice little village, nice little pub on the left here. I'd like to come out of there and have to walk up that hill that we've just come down there. Oh, hang on, I've got to sort a few bits and pieces out here. Let me just sit, just sit, hang on. Right, turn the old engine off. Now, I've got this um, DJI Pocket Osmo. Let's turn it off and for some reason I just can't I can't see what I'm doing on this this screen is so small when you haven't got your glasses on for reading it's not impossible to sort it so let's just hope I can get it right because I don't think I said it right when I set off let's have a look you know I think I'm gonna have to take it out of the cradle Ridiculous. That's it, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Now, my camera is just behind my eyes. And you can see, I can't see, you can't see it, I can't see it. It's ridiculous. Uh, get closer. Just tap it. I don't know what that is. Tap it, tap it. Oh, I'm tapping there. Let's put it back in the cradle and see what happens. Right, turn it on. Then double three time click. Four. Turn the camera around. Here we go. Face recognition on. Hopefully, I'll track my face as we make our way through the villages up to up in. Here we go. Nope. More traffic coming down the road now. Let's connect the phone up. Nice thing about this, Empire's got your USB hub. I quite like that. No traffic before, and when I pull over, it all starts. That's just typical. I think we go after this next car. There we go.
takes us over a little bridge for the single file traffic and that will take us into Cordicop in a nice little village at the start of Rutland uh, that uh, quite pleasant to walk around Three and a half hours in the saddle coming back. 
my opinion. Every, in fact, everything that I've uh, s suggested here or said here is in my opinion. Everyone. See you soon.